Hi everyone, welcome to Multiplying Decimals Part 2. Let's take a look at this problem. We have 0 .001 times 56. One of the things that I like to do is, when I set this up to multiply it, is try to look at the digits. This number has four digits, this number has two. So let's put the number with the most digits on top. So you'll want to write it vertically. And then we're going to multiply 6 times 1 and then 0, 0, 0. All right, we'll put our placer in. Now we're under the 5. 5 times 1, 5, and then 0, 0, 0. And then we're going to add. Now, how do we know where to place our decimal? We have to remember the rule. You look at your decimal and count the digits to the right of the decimal. There's one, two, three. This number doesn't have a decimal, so we are just going to focus on the one that does. So three digits to the right. So we're going to start on our answer on the far right, and we're going to take three hops for the three digits and place our decimal there. So the answer is 0 0.056. Let's say that you have 9.8 times 4.62. This number has the most digits, so let's put it on top. We'll put the other one underneath. When you multiply, you don't line up the decimals. You don't have to worry about that. Now we're just going to go on ahead and multiply. 16, and then be 49. 8 times 4 is 32, and 4 is 36. Now we're going to put our zero placer there. 9 times 2 is 18, carry 1. 9 times 6 is 54, and 1 is 55. 9 times 4 is 36, and 5 is 39. We add these two lines. That's 12, 13, and 4. Again, we look at the digits on the right side of the decimal. 1, 2, 3. Come down to our answer to the far right and take three hops. So the answer is 43.276. And that's multiplying decimals.